So, Joe here. Um, the only video, we need to change out the touchpad on um, my daughter's netbook. And the only video I could find on YouTube about removing the keyboard to get to the top, I believe it's five screws, um, poor gentleman would just ended up being a rant. Uh, Got to look a little deeper on the newer uh, gateways, I assume. Uh, apparently it's become a question on uh, where you normally you'd remove the top panel here and then have two screws to take it out. Um, he ended up tearing up the whole bottom of his keyboard trying to get it out. Done a little digging around with a little better light along each corner. And then right above the F8 key there's a small plastic tab that pretty much you just have to give me a moment here. I want to make sure I'm on it. Push up or in, excuse me, and get underneath it. Oops. I'll use something a little heavier. Right up here, you'll see there's a tab. If you push that in, that releases the top half of the keyboard. And then you can just pull it up a little bit, and then take your precision. Make sure you get in there good so you're not tearing up the frame. And just work that precision along the edge. Your fingers. And then the trick is to pull up. Until you're past these little tabs right here by control and page down. Turn the keyboard sideways. You see these little tabs that they fit in? That's what locks in the keyboard all the way around the bottom. So once you have that out, you can easily get to your ribbon cable. Remove the tape. Just be able to give it a nice little tug. And ta-da! All in one piece. Nothing, no damage. Good chance to get in here and dust things off. Get to your computer fan, blow it out real good, your CPU, and the ever-infamous, let's get to the, the top five screws. So we got one here, one here, one here, one here, and here. In order to finish removing the touchpad assembly, to go ahead and give that, replace it. Um, I was getting an error over and over again, uh, Air 24, saying that it was present but was, was not working. Um, updated drivers, still nothing, so we decided to go ahead and replace the touchpad. Thank you.